What's good, YouTube? This your boy, DJ Cute Waves. Back again with another new video. If you're new to the channel, be sure that red subscribe button and notification bell. Feel us, subscribe. Welcome back to the channel. Now, first one turn has been the news waves this whole quarantine corona pandemic. Now, Chris Martin started a lot of hoo-ha when he said he got more hits than Kendrick Lamar. And everybody's like, Chris Martin, sit down, bro. What are you talking about? And, you know, you got respect for the Turner for his confidence that he has more hits than Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, say no, I feel like Chris Martin, most of his hits are features. It's not just him, you know what I'm saying? Hits are just you only. Your solo songs, not with someone else. But you can still count a hit with other people, but I guess, you know, it all depends on how you see it. But recently he did an interview on, you know, DJ E Rock 92.3 The Basement. And he said, you know, the only people that that could guide him in the battle is probably Drake or Jay-Z. Now check out this clip. What more else he had to say about, you know, all the stuff he been saying all along about this versus battle thing. Check Doing out a clip. versus battle going head on with Kendrick Lamar. And I mean, to be honest, yeah. for me, when I read that, like, I know a lot of people kind of saw a little sideways, but then again, I was like, nah, he's not going sideways with it, man. I mean, yo, that's, I, I look at that as respect more than anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think, yeah, yeah. You know, I think the people got to hear like, you know, where, where, where that came from, where that sentiment came from. You know what I mean? So. You know, you know what you got to watch right now or put it with this interview? Mm -hmm. Shout out to High 97. Shout, shout out to High 97. Laura Styles. Yeah, shout out to Ebro. So what, so what they did was this morning, they had Rosenberg as Kendrick Lamar and they had DJ Cass One as French Montana as if they was us. And they did a battle. Hit for hit. And guess mm -hmm. who won that battle? And you know Ebro is the toughest critic. Uh, absolutely. I used to work for that guy in Sacramento. So yeah. Yeah, so and, they, and they're all Kendrick Lamar fans. You know what I'm saying? And guess who won that battle? You did. French Montana, 6 to 4. Wow. Okay. So, so and, and all I was saying was, is that like, this is like an amnesia game. You know what I'm saying? People seem to forget. And, and, and sometimes people don't know that, you know, hits and what I'm talking about have nothing to do with, with the weight class of an artist. I'm just talking about when you talking hit for hit, let the music speak. There's not yeah. a, there's like opinions and this, all that, all that's cool, but let the music speak. So, I mean, I, I, I think it's safe to say that you're talking literally from, from the heart of a musician more than anything. Yeah. And, 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 it's, and it's like, and, and it's like, they, they, there's a small percentage of people that make in this world. And that's and that's the percentage that people think they're crazy at first, right? It's like if you ask me, the Beatles got more hits than you. I'm, I'm, what am I supposed to say? No. I mean, <laughs> like I'm, I'm supposed to stand up for myself, regardless. Absolutely. Of no. Whatever. I mean, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. I mean, that's exactly. The truth. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, so all I did was just telling people, look, I have, I've been making hits for a long time, 15 years. I feel like I can go neck to neck with him. I ain't even say I can beat him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just I just want all the underdogs out there and everybody that's on the come up, never doubt yourself, man. Like, if you believe in your heart, go for it. And and everybody at first didn't even think what I was saying. And now that they're like, oh, Fresh can go neck to neck with Kendrick, which is cool. Because, you know what I'm saying? He, he, might, he might have me and everything else, but at least I won this. I respect that. I respect that. Coming from the true heart of a musician. You know what I mean? Um, let's say let's say you guys don't battle. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm sure you're already getting the phone calls. And like, yo, are we going to make this happen? Who are some other people that you feel that you can go neck and neck with, hit for hit, in this game today? I mean, I'm, like, like I said before, I mean, you can put me against anybody. If I take the L, I'll take the L. And I'm, I, I'm not scared to lose. You know what I'm saying? This is not about. I respect just about that. Me believing, yeah, it's about me I believing in myself. That, I have a lot of hits. I have, I have about 20, 23 mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Then I have the, the, the hits, the, 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 the worldwide hits. I have this and that. 
So I, I feel like I can go against anybody. That's what's you know, Drake, I know, I know Drake probably got me, Jay-Z got me, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, it's like, it's whatever, it's open game. Absolutely, man. Um, of course, people like Snoop, when his, when his thing bang is like Dr. Dre and all that, respect to him. Yeah. But, man, I was watching, I was like, yo, Dre and Diddy. Pop. Man, you, yeah, that, the stuff he just said was rhetorical. We all know that, too. We all know Drake got more hits than you. And obviously, duh, Jay-Z got more hits than you. Then he said, you know, everybody else, he go go against. Bro, you don't got more hits than freaking Dr. Dre. You don't even got more hits than Nelly. You definitely ain't got more hits than Nelly. Nelly got bangers. Now, they talking about this whole 20 song thing. Nah, look, you ain't got more hits than Nelly, dog. Nelly got way more bigger hits than you. Y'all need to stop sleeping on Nelly. Nelly is one of the most unappreciated rap artists of all time. Nelly was the biggest rapper to me ever in the 2000s to me. He's bigger than, he's way bigger than uh, Ja Rule now. I don't care what nobody said. Nelly was going diamond. Come on. Maybe 50 Cent, probably on DMX or Jay Z. Maybe, but Nelly was going diamond on dudes in 2000, man. Y'all about to put some respect on Nelly's name. Man, first of time, like, you don't got more hits than Meek. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably don't got more hits than Migos. Stop it. But that's a group, so I can't do that. I right, get yeah, But you got to respect the man's confidence. He's talking about some probably. Drake and Jay Z got more hits. Probably. Man, French Montana confidence. Is out the, out is out the, out the roof. It just it just crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? You know I like friends my time, but more hits, man. Like your biggest hit to this day. It's probably unforgettable. I'll pop that. We had like five other artists on there. You know what I'm saying? Look. <laughs> Come on, French. Hey, come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. But, <laughs> y'all see, I comment below. It's too much I think what Fred had, Montana had to say. Comment below, share your thoughts. And as always, be sure to follow my social media page down below. If you want more videos like this, be sure to that DJ QA playlist by the video. And always be sure to that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. DJ Q Waves, you so wavy.